<laughs> He's smelling your sister's bum. Hi, everybody. I have an armful of something. And they're talking. Hi, it's me, Mayor Nightmare Bliss. Looking like a mess because I am about to go work in my yard. I was working in my yard. Came in to feed everybody. I've got the pigs out. Uh, if you're new here, I am a retired makeup artist, hairstylist, nail tech, and esthetician. And now I live up on a mountain in the middle of nowhere where I rescue a lot of animals. And oh my God, and these are two of them. I do all this YouTube stuff because it's fun. I have showed these two in my videos before, but not lately. So I wanted to give you a piggy break. Piggy break. Are you, you want to bite my nail? Do you want to bite my nail? So this is Ozzy and Ed. I did adopt them. I did not buy them. Ed loves to hug under my chin. And they are very big fat piggies. I just ran in to get them because they have their cage in my office, but they also have a giant piggy playpen that they go in so they can run and get their exercise. Uh, let's just talk about them first and then I will show you the piggy playpen. You're gonna have to sit down here, Ed. So this is Ozzy. Say hi, Ozzy. Ozzy is actually named after Oswald Cobblepot the penguin. I'm a fuzzy coconut. Hi, baby. I got you. It's okay. I've got you. I've got you. Oh, oh, oh. Do the noise. I adopted them from a family who got them for their son. And it was, I told this story before, Facebook groups. We have one for our little area here. There's only like a thousand people in it or something. And it's in my immediate area. It's for the residents of this area because I live in a very rural area. So if anything's going on, like lots of bears around, community news, things like that. So somebody posted that they needed a home for two guinea pigs. And I asked about them and they said they're both girls and they're young and we just got them recently. And let me tell you why they had to rehome them. I'm not mad that they rehomed them. Ed, where are you going? Ed, you come up next. This is Ed, Enigma. Enigma. Ed is named after the Riddler. Ozzy is named after the Penguin in Batman. They're both girls. <laughs> but I kind of love it. I have non-binary guinea pigs. It's the coolest thing. I was like, they're meant to be mine. They have boy names. Ozzy and Ed. I also call her Edwina. And Ozzy, I just call Oz, the Wizard of Oz. But... This is the penguin and this is the Riddler. Here's the story. Very sweet couple. Had to find a home. Did not want to just give them to anybody. They said they were free. They get all the stuff that comes with them. And let me tell you, they outfitted these pigs. They must have spent like at least $200 or more on all the stuff that they bought them. Between the giant cage, the toys, the houses, the beds, all the things they got them. Are you licking my arm? They really spoiled them. The reason they got them is because they have a little son who is adorable, cutest thing in the world. When I met him, he's like, I don't know, he's probably like five or six, had blue hair, and I had blue hair. And I'm like, oh my God, it's a sign we both have blue hair. I adopted them, I think, what, last summer, you guys? I think it was last summer. They got the guinea pigs for their son because they had gotten him chickens first, okay? So they got him chickens, and sadly, they had a predator attack, and all the chickens got killed. And their son was very upset because they were his pets. And obviously they're a very animal loving, pet loving family. But in this area, you really, I cannot express if you live in a rural area, how much you have to protect any animal that you're going to keep outside. Ozzy's very talky. Tell the story about how you adopted us. They got the guinea pigs for their son because he was just completely distraught over losing his chickens. And they thought, well, we can get guinea pigs because they're in the house and, and they'll be safe and they'll be fine. Well, they have two cats, <laughs> and the cats literally terrified these guinea pigs. Like, just, they were out for blood. They were trying to kill them. I can tell you that, I could tell the guinea pigs were kind of traumatized when they got here. They were very jumpy. They were very fidgety. They didn't like to be out of their cage. So, sadly, like they said, uh, their son could never play with the guinea pigs, because every time he took them out to play with them, the cats would try to kill them, like attack them, attack their son trying to get to them. So it was a miserable experience. And they said, the last thing we want is he's already really young and impressionable. We don't want his life to be filled with losing pets at this young age. So they were so scared that the cats were going to kill the guinea pigs. And they just didn't want him to go through another huge loss like that. So they put these two up for adoption. 
and <laughs> I've had guinea pigs my whole life. So I said, I will take them. And it turns out they only live like about 10 minutes from me. So I met them down at the little shopping area down near us. And I got these guys and they've been with me ever since. And I completely, oh, huggy, huggy hugs. Completely adore them. I'll get really close. So that's the back. I love the markings on Ozzy. There they are. There's Ed and there's Ozzy. And I'm going to go put them in their playpen because I have to get outside and get back to work. They already had their bowl of greens this morning. I'll probably put some carrots in the playpen for them. And I am doing this month, finally, the guinea pigs chose my makeup. True story, I actually put makeup down and let them choose the makeup. If you guys like it, maybe we'll do more guinea pigs choose my makeup. I also want to do Cersei chooses my makeup, my turkey. I want to put makeup down and let her choose it. <laughs> and see what she chooses for me because you know I don't want you to get bored and plus I have all these animals but I love doing makeup so I'm trying to figure out ways to involve you guys you, you guys love guinea pigs choose my makeup don't you Ed is better at it Ed's better at guinea pig chooses my makeup Ozzy just kind of looks at it but Ed is the first one to go up and grab things the guinea pigs and my dogs all get along in case you're wondering I did put up a short at one point I think an Instagram story of Eliza playing with them and she follows them around so none of the dogs hurt the guinea pigs. My dogs have all been around guinea pigs. I had a guinea pig previous to these two named Ivy. She was also a rescue slash adopted. Uh, I lost her from old age. She was, oh god, she lived a long time. Passed away in her sleep on my lap. Lost her in 2019 and then I got these guys in 2021 so I was pigless for a little while. Uh, honestly now that I have them again I'm just, <laughs> I'm so happy because I love them. So I'm going to go put them in the playpen and I will show you the playpen in just a minute. We are in my master bedroom. This is the giant piggy playpen that I built for them. And there's a big thing of dog toys over there. So there's Ed running around. Ozzy is in the pumpkin. And they have a little litter box, food and water, lots of potty pads, tubes. Oh my God, they love that little green tube. I leave them in here for a couple, a few hours every day, sometimes longer. But they absolutely love this thing. There's a Lydia for scale. It's pretty big. As you can see, happy pigs. They love the pumpkin. Oh, here comes Ozzy. <laughs> thing to do. Oh my god, it's guinea pig ASMR. He's in the tube. <laughs> anyway, so this is where they are going to be playing while I am outside working in the yard. That's the pig playpen. And they get to run around here and get lots of exercise, which is very important because they do have a big cage, but they can't really run and jump and be all goofy and everything. So this gives them a lot of space to get exercise in. I mean, their cage is big. I think you guys have seen their cage. Hold on. We'll walk over and see their cage really quick. This is their cage. And there's Lydia again for scale. This cage is almost as big as their playpen, but not quite. The playpen's like twice as big as this. So they do have a lot of space in here. I have to clean this tomorrow. It is guinea pig cage clean day. I clean it once a week. And then after they're in their playpen for a day or so, I sweep it all out and clean that. I keep everything really clean with them. Hi, Lydia. I keep it really clean because for one, I'm kind of allergic. And for two, guinea pigs do not like to be... Hi, Eliza. Guinea pigs do not like to be in a dirty cage or a dirty space. They really love this playpen. Oh, excuse the fact that there's not a cover on this. That one has to be replaced. So my husband's doing that this weekend. Oh, I think Ed's going in the tube now. Lydia's like, they're in there, aren't they? Oh, Lydia, you playing with the ball? Lydia knows they're in there, but she's, I can smell them, but I can't see them. Lydia likes them too, but all of my dogs really, really, really love guinea pigs. Rusty was the one that loved them the most. These two used to sleep with Rusty. 
Ozzy, you gonna go in your tube again? No. Ozzy's so freaking cute. Ozzy, our hair matches. We have matching hair now. Edwina, what in the world are you doing? Ozzy, the goth guinea pig. <laughs> He's smelling your sister's bum. She's like, cut it out. Oh, and so you know, these two get along great. They've been together since they were babies. So they were always a pair. Ed is the dominant one for sure. Ed tends to push Ozzy around a little bit. Like Ed ate first and now Ozzy's over here eating. Ed's in there. They love this because there's like, I put an igloo in there so they can go around the outside or the inside. They like to play in that. Are you going in the pig bed? No? So these are a couple of very happy, healthy pigs. That's what guinea pigs should be like. Right, Lydia? Lydia, you need a haircut. Where's your face? Lydia, where's your face? Where's your face, Nitty? She goes, I don't know, Mom. You're a dog groomer, right? Do something about it. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Liddy, do you need a haircut? <laughs> you need your haircut, Liddy? <laughs> Liddy says, I need my haircut. Okay, we'll give you a haircut. Liddy is overdue for a haircut, as you can see. Oh, if you're new and you're looking for Lydia's eyes, Lydia was born with no eyes. See? No eyes. No eyes, no problem, Lydia. That is her. <laughs> no eyes, no problem, Lydia is Lydia's... Instagram, by the way. She does have an Instagram. But she was born with no eyes, but she is the happiest dog in the world because she doesn't know that anything's missing. And I love how, like, her eyebrows, she, they move around. My um, vet said she may have very tiny vestigial eyes in there, but they're, there's just two little slits. She can't see at all. <clears throat> can't see anything. Okay, now my voice is getting weird because... FYI, I am actually allergic to guinea pigs. I washed my hands, put my neck under my chin where I was hugging them and breaking out a little bit. So I'm going to go wash my neck up and my hands are okay. But yeah, I am allergic to them, but I just don't care because I love them so much. So I put up with it and I'm happy to give them such a good home because they were rescues. You never want them to go to a home that doesn't understand guinea pigs or what they need. They get fresh salads every day. They get their greens, their water. Their, uh, <laughs> their nail trims. So, yeah, they got their nails trimmed yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I love them. So, thanks for watching. That was meeting Ed and Ozzy. We will see you in a future video. I am going to try this month to do my guinea pigs choose my makeup look because I started filming it. They chose the makeup. I just have to film the look. They want me to do it, and you probably do too. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.